Hello, hello everybody, how is it going? Sorry, it's been a while once again, but it has been mega busy here with the house move, but let's just cut to the chase on why we're here. So I have been graciously sent another uh, set to review by one of the companies that I affiliate with sometimes, and I have been sent a very exciting set from Fun Hole, which has just not long been released, and I am loving the look of this build because I've already seen pictures of it online, and I think it's one of their best yet. So without further ado, let's have a look. And so here it is guys, this is the latest set that I have been sent from Funhole, so thank you so much to you guys over there for this. I am so excited for this set because it has had raving reviews on Amazon, like five stars across the board pretty much, and yeah, I just always look forward to a Funhole set because, I mean, their built-in light kits just add that extra bit of magic and excitement to every single set that I build. So yeah, let's have a look at the back of the box as well. So you can see comparison here. The set still looks fantastic on the outside when it's not lit up, you can see here. And we also have a picture here of it lit up. So yeah, as you can see, it's the saloon set, set F9021, the Western saloon, the Old West. And it has 2,026 pieces, so it's pretty good size. And this box is heavy, like, I cannot underestimate to you, like, how heavy this actually is. And in the UK, this retails for £109.99 on Amazon. And there's actually some vouchers, like, going on Amazon at the moment, like, where you just tick the little box and you get, like, an extra 20% off. So that's great. Lots of savings to be had there. So, yeah, without further ado, let us get this open. I've literally just opened the box and you can already see, like, how nicely packed this is. There's so many parts going on here. Oh, my gosh. So this is the manual. Oh my god. This thing is huge. Like, look how thick this is. This is like, I thought this was going to be kind of like a smallish building, but that is hefty, guys. Whoa. I think I'm going to need more time to review this than I thought. Oh my gosh. Okay. And then here we have in a box, I'm guessing this is obviously going to be the light kit in here. So that's really nice that that's packaged separately in a cardboard box as well. So I don't imagine there'll be any damage in transit from that. And then we just have bags upon bags and here have all the parts. So yeah, let's get all the bags out and see how many we have. Okay, so I have all the bags out and you can see there are many a bag to be opened. Uh, so we have from numbers ranging 1 to 12 with like an average of three bags per number, if that makes sense. But also I have like a rogue... F bag. Is this a test? Is this an error? I'm not too sure. It might stand for figures. I'm not... It's not clear. I'm sure all will become clear soon. And of course I have another one of these kind of just bags with the kind of base plates in it that we always get too. And some like thing I wanted to mention that is like a really random observation as well. But like I love with how like with Fun Hole we get like the packaging in itself is like gorgeous and it's really sturdy and it feels great. But also, the saloon box, like, is one of these ones, kind of, like, that you open like this. So it also means, when I inevitably don't finish this all in one night, I can just, like, throw whatever bags I haven't got round to back into the box and, like, come back to it later. Like, it's so much easier than some other brands where, like, once you open the box, that is it. Like, there's not really any sort of reusing it for, like, storage or whatever. So that is really great and uh, something to be noted. For sure. I guess let's get cracking. Ah yes, we have solved the mystery of the F bag. So it is figures. So yeah, it talks about just being careful when you're managing this bag. And uh, that is where we'll find all of our figures parts. So that's very, very useful to know. So I have now finished the build and here it is here. A really, really great size this build. Oh my gosh, it's a great corner build for placing into cities or even a standalone set as well. Got a little mini build here that goes outside, so this is obviously supposed to be a bit of a dead tree, just to really kind of get across the, the desert look. Got loads of nice little details here, just to add a bit of uh, dimension and texture to the build, and some movability and playability with these features as well. A water trough here for when you tie up your horses, they've got something to drink. Little cactus plants as well, I really love how these have been built with these pieces here, loads of kind of like different sides with branches coming out. And then if we look at the rooftops, I love how there's like this kind of first tier roof and then we've got the ultimate roof up here. But uh, yeah, this took a little bit of time to put together, but I think it's overall been worth it because it really does kind of look like that kind of palleted wood look. And these are all stickers here that I've put on top of these uh, tile pieces here. This one not very well, I've managed to crease it a little bit. But uh, yeah, and I love that there are still some exposed studs as well because it just kind of gives that look of like knotted wood. And then we've got a little balcony here, which is really, really cute, a nice little feature here. 
and uh, I love this. I saw this on the box and I just thought this was so clever, like just really simple piece usage and it looks like obviously a, a skull from like a bull or something like this. And then we've got the saloon sign here. This is actually printed. So this isn't a sticker, um, so this is all kind of nice and neatly placed out for you already, so you just have to pop it on. And uh, yeah, a nice little flag here as well. And yeah, so we can obviously see some wires here, so this is where some of the built-in light kit does come down. Overall, this doesn't really bother me too much. Maybe lighter wires would have been better, and um, the black maybe does stand out against the kind of beige colour, but otherwise I don't really think it's going to be that noticeable and... Ultimately, it'll be worth it in the end. Maybe can hide them a little bit better than what I have, but uh, you can see there we've got some yellow translucent studs under there, so that'll make a nice glowy effect when we switch it on. And yeah, more of kind of a similar structure to this side that we saw on this side. Not completely symmetrical, which is nice. And we've got a nice sign here as well. Frontier Tavern. There you go. Yeah, I also love, while we're looking at the outside, we've also obviously had to put these big chunky battery packs somewhere. Um, and like most companies, like you have the option of this USB that links up to all of the the kind of power cables and you can link it up to this battery pack here, which takes three AA's. And but what I like about this is that for those that go with this option, they've kind of deliberately put into the design this kind of like fence that goes around the top of the roof. So from a certain angle, you don't really notice it too much, especially if you go um, you're looking head on at the sign. It's really, really not that noticeable. Um, and obviously with them being black and the roof being kind of like a brown, it really doesn't like stand out too much. It really doesn't bother me. And we've also got this kind of like tavern sort of uh, whiskey barrel here. And it's actually underneath here that we have like the board that we plug all of the cables into. So there's actually about four or five cables um, that plug into there. You can maybe just see it just through there, the little white section there. So that's a really creative way of like covering that up so you don't have that to look at as well. So that is my overview of kind of like the outside of the build. Just before we look at the inside, just these are the other two sides of the build. You can see that there's not really a lot going on. These are obviously supposed to maybe be the more the sides that you maybe put up against something or it's just not the front kind of like place to display the set. Um, so here we actually have a bit of playability. So we just spin this kind of like little wanted paper here and it causes this door to pop out. Um, I'm not really sure why. I kind of did play a bit with it a, a few times to try and work out like what's the kind of point in this and it comes off as well. I don't really get it. I don't really think it's needed but it's kind of nice like they're, they have added in a bit of playability with this because obviously if you want to buy it for your kids or if you just like playing with it yourself really but uh, yeah there might be something I'm missing with that but I just really I played about with it for a while and I really didn't get it. But something definitely worth noting with this set that I just absolutely love and I haven't seen this done as well in any other sets that I've built is that you might see here we've got a little bit of a sticking out piece and this is very deliberate because this acts as a sort of handle. So this way we can open up this set and see all the details inside and we don't miss these. So because of everything that's been going on with doing the roof, you don't want to, like, the, the roof isn't, like, designed to lift this up, basically. The roof stays where it is. So instead, so that you can see inside your set, you just have to open the back door, and here we go. You get a really good view of all the details that are going on, which is fantastic. We've got three figures all together. So we've got this little guy here with the cowboy hat, so I've placed him having a little drink here. We've got this guy here, he's got a little moustache, and I just thought, I'll just kind of have him, I don't know, I think he was supposed to be playing the piano, but it kind of looks like he's just getting angry at it, but there you go. And then we've got Bartender Band. That was the best I could get him standing because, to be honest, I would say place the figures as you go when you're building the set because I tried to do it, like, in hindsight afterwards and trying to get, like, through all of the details with your hands, it's, like, you inevitably knock things over. So I made that hard for myself. So there's a top tip for you if you decide to get the set. Um, place the figures as you go. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, there's so much detail going on in here. Even though there's a lot, a lot of brown, They've managed to add in so many different shades of brown, some kind of like beigeier colours, orangey colours. We've got some gold pieces going on as well. And I love this chandelier and there is some lights attached to that as well. So I'm really excited to see how that looks when we light it up. We've got the upper balcony area with lots going on. Some really cool wanted pictures, a board at the back on the right there. Kind of grandfather clock style clock, some curtained windows as well. And we even have like a little desk with a, a ink and quill. And I really enjoyed like 
learning the process of how they designed to build the steps as well. Definitely be taking that over into my own builds. And even the bar itself doesn't get lost in the details. There's so many details in there in the back. And I'm just hoping that when I put the lights on, it really kind of really lights up the inside of the set so you can really see things a little bit better. Oh, and there's a poker table there as well. So there you go, they're really, really cute. So what I'm gonna do, so I'm gonna close the set back up and then I'm gonna look at the front again, turn on the lights, and then we'll do everything in the same order again, but with the light kit on. So here's hoping everything is wired up and working fine. So here we go. I've turned off my main light. It might be a bit too dark, unless this light kit is like fully illuminescent or something, but let's just see how it looks with the lights off. And let's turn the lights on. There we go. Looks like all the lights are working as they should be. Oh, that looks so cool. How fantastic does that look? Oh my gosh. Let's see the doors open as well. I've left them open so you can kind of see peer through there. That looks so, so nice. You can totally see this is like a kind of what it is, like a tavern, a bar-like environment. So if it was at night time, I would definitely feel like that kind of mood going on. See the lights going through the curtains as well. Let's, uh, let's open the inside as well and see how well we can now see the details. Whoa, whoa, there's so much light in here now. Oh my gosh, I'll need to turn the brightness down. There we go, that's better. So I just turned the brightness down a little bit on my phone just to kind of like contrast with the, the change in lighting there. And wow, how awesome does that look? Oh, just so cool. Oh, well, oh, and what I forgot about as well, maybe it's not showing too well in video, but there were actually lights installed just behind the bar. So there's actually what kind of makes it feel like a kind of blue light going on in the back there. It really lights up all of the, the bottles and the glasses. A kind of a little bit like what you would expect if you go to a real bar, for anyone that's been to one of age, obviously. <laughs> um, we've got another little light up here as well, which is really, really nice. They've like spread them out really, really well, I think, just to really light up the, all of the inside uh, details there. Let's get us having a great time with this drink. But yeah, there's only so much I can maybe show you so well with the light kit on in this darkness, but I just really wanted to like give the lights their, their due in trying to light up the kit. Little door here to the back of the bar. Maybe it doesn't open very great, but uh, oh, it's because I haven't put a tile down properly. There we go. Oh, it's still a little bit stiff, so there's maybe a note that it doesn't open very well at the back there, but it's looking so great. Well... It did take quite a while to put this set together, I'd say like two, three nights in total, non-stop, so definitely worth it though. I've not seen, I don't have any sets with this kind of atmosphere with a, with a light kit in it. And of course, as I said at the start of this review, Funhole, their sets do come with light kits built in as well, so there's no additional cost there, you're paying for the whole shebang. And yeah, I just think it adds so much, it adds life to the set, it adds that so much more extra that we don't get with some of the bigger brands. I just think it's awesome, look at the barman having a great time working away. Right, let's go put the big light back on so we can see a little bit better. So thanks guys for sticking around and listening to my review of the Funhole Western Saloon build. I think it's absolutely great and yeah you just get so much value for money. It's a really big building like definitely put aside a few like nights or a day or so to like get this done if you're really wanting to invest in it because it definitely needs the time and attention which is just great because as I said it just means you get value for money. And uh, it was really fun building it as well. There were so many cool techniques. And yeah, it definitely got me in those Western feels. So really happy with how it turned out with the light kit as well. I think I'll definitely be looking to maybe try and link up the USB to a mains as opposed to a battery pack. But it really is one of the best sets I've seen um, or like additional light kits um, that you get. They don't really kind of try and work in the battery pack and with the build very well. But I think this one has done it the best that I've seen. So even if you do stick with the battery pack, even for a temporary short while, um, it's absolutely fine. You really don't see it. And uh, yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to like, maybe adding some extra details of my own or maybe altering a couple of things just to make it a bit more um, playable with figures and things like that. But uh, yeah, definitely head over to Amazon. I'll put a link in the description below um, because there are some deals on at the moment with voucher codes as well. And yeah, please remember to like the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you don't already do so. But until next time, guys, bye!